pollution causes 3 million deaths per year worldwide and increases incidence of heart attacks and lung disease, while the nitrogen oxides emitted from engine exhaust can contribute to global warming and travel hundreds of miles before falling as acid rain, which damages ecosystems and food crops. I'm Russell Beard and I've come to the Philippines where a surprising new technology is turning the fabric of the city into an air filter. Yeah, and it's on uh, Al Jazeera English. Yeah. Metropolitan Manila is bursting at the seams and as a result has some of the worst air pollution in the world. Epifanio de los Santos Avenue, or EDSA, is a 12-lane superhighway that carries hundreds of thousands of vehicles every day, resulting in nitrogen oxide levels over four and a half times the safe limit set by the World Health Organization. We've heard of a project trying to help Manila clean up its act with a unique collaboration of science and art. Well, we've come here to meet artist Jose Ruiz. He goes by the name of Bogey. Bogey! We call you Bogey. It's a serious road, look at this. This isn't your average artist studio. Um, tell us what brings us here. Three years ago, yeah. a couple of guys came to me and said, look, we've got a paint. It works to reduce pollution. Would you like to do something with it on EDSA? I said, whoa, really? Yeah, OK, why not? Yeah. And the, the paint is supposed to absorb nitrous oxide Convert it into hydrogen and water. Yeah. And I said, that's very interesting. This is the paint, yeah. yeah. But remember that if you just painted it all white, people would say, all right, so what's the diff? Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, to highlight it, they eventually came around to saying, why don't we get guys who'll put some motifs, make it a little more attractive, invite some discourse, you know, get it going. That's so speak. you've got some guys down here. What are they doing? I thought we, you were finished this mural. Well, we, we are, but they're polishing up some of the white areas. So okay. um, I remember the first thing that the curator said, so who do you think are your audience? I said, I reckon it's people in the bus, primarily. Because yeah. that's the slowest big person kind of vehicle. The train goes by in about five seconds. Yeah. And so you don't get too much time to study. But a bus will crawl around it for 15 minutes. So I said, that's a beautiful audience. OK, so we've come to the Boyson production facility. Now, we've come to meet a man called Johnson Ong King. He's a second generation paint manufacturer, and he's going to tell us a bit about how he's evolving his family business. Mr. Johnson. The old concept of what environmentally friendly paint was, was sort of you just limited the damage. Yeah. Uh, you know, and the best you could do was if you could do zero damage, so to speak. But what Knoxout does is pushes that envelope further and say, no, you can go beyond that and actually do something positive as opposed to just doing no harm. The key ingredient that makes uh, Knoxout an air purifier is called titanium dioxide, and specifically yeah. ultrafine titanium dioxide. Okay. Because most of us think of uh, titanium dioxide as this pigment that gives paper, paint, plastics this white color. Yeah. But uh, what uh, most people don't know is if you make titanium dioxide really small, ultrafine, you can actually make it into a photocatalyst. Photocatalysis means the sunlight causes the titanium dioxide to react with water vapor in the air, breaking it into hydrogen and oxygen-based particles, or free radicals, which then bond with NOx gases to make nitric acid, which is neutralized by calcium carbonate in the paint, producing harmless quantities of calcium nitrate, CO2, and water. This technology has been used in catalytic converters and power plants for 30 years, and it's now been estimated that one square meter of the paint has the same NOx cleaning power of one fully grown tree. So tell me, how many trees can we fit in one of these, one of these buckets? Wow, that, that's easily uh, 100 square meters. It's a funny thought, we're gonna fill this, the 100 trees worth of paint, we don't know where it's gonna go. Where, where do you think this paint is gonna end up? Who's gonna buy this stuff? Well, we have a lot of uh, hospitals that use the product now. Universities and schools started using it. And we have a lot of petrol stations as well. 
To put the air cleaning properties of their knocks out paint to the test, Boyson conducted the world's largest air purifying paint trial at Guadalupe Station on EDSA. We visited Dr. Simpas, pollution expert at the Manila Observatory, to see the results. So the question was, of course, whether this paint uh, works. If you, if you look at the measurements along uh, uh, Guadalupe, uh, we have to change wow. the scale. Oh my because it shoots gosh. out way beyond uh, almost three times. Almost, almost three, three times, times the density. And we had results that uh, show the before and activation and after. If you average it, it's roughly a 20% drop. So uh, that's pretty solid. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, uh, amazing. Conclusive. With a proven 20% drop in NOx pollutants, the government got on board and is rolling out the project along the entire length of EDSA. With 10 artists and 8 murals covering a surface area of 8,000 square meters, the project promises a combined NOx cleaning power of 8,000 trees. So far, four of the murals have been completed and work on the fifth piece starts tonight. So as you can see, it's the middle of the night and I think they're just starting it now. We need to prime it before the artist comes in. So we're going to go and give him a hand. <laughs> Oh my God! We just risked our lives to come and help you out. How are you? Why are, why are we painting at night? Less danger. Less danger. Yeah, for the painter to do this kind of work at night. Okay. Because less traffic. Okay. Yeah, one more fun. Just one. Oh, it's going to take us all night. All right, let me have a shot. Although it will take many more murals to affect global NOx levels, thanks to this new technology, an industry often associated with pollution may be being primed for a green makeover. <laughs> <laughs>